Okay guys, I want to show you this MR25 from a line. I got this thing three days ago and I think it's a pretty cool um, APB racing quad. Um, it has a lot of features. That's, reason, that's the reason why I got interested in getting one. So here's a quick specs on it. Actually, it has an 1806 motors. Um, it, uh, it, it's an Align brand uh, motors. It has that gimbal one axis gimbal that actually moves keeps it level uh, when you're flying or you can do manual if you, you want to tilt it manually um, some really cool LEDs in the back those are all con uh, you can change the colors you want um, it's all controllable by the uh, by the app connected to a Bluetooth lights in here on the bottom running on five or six inch props um, this antenna comes with it uh, some well, a 1300 milliamp battery 3s, but you can put 4s if you want. If you remove this, then you will see what's inside. The cool thing about this is, besides of the gimbal, one of the best features I think is auto leveling, and also it can do um, recording at the same time. So it can take videos straight to your VTX, down to your uh, FPB goggles, and at the same time you can do some pictures and videos. Lag, it's almost lag free. I didn't say it's lag, it doesn't have any lag, but it's negligible. I mean, it, I mean you can't barely see any difference actually. Um, but if it is not doing a recording, then there's definitely no lag at all. Um, BTX is at 350 milliamp, milliamp, milliwatts, I'm sorry. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, it has a built-in barometer. Um, cool looking lights. It tells you the level of the battery because of the LEDs in the back. Um, it blinks, I mean, if you're making a right turn, it blinks on the right, left on the left, and making back up. I mean, both light will be, will start blinking. But let's power this thing to, just to show you what I'm talking about. Isn't that cool? All right, so blinking, colorful very bright I can even barely look at it straight because look how bright that thing is um, the light reflects even on the side so you can see the lights on the side at the bottom I guess even on the top um, if we try to turn this thing on welcome to open TX it's binded to my radio now if it is connected you see it suddenly changes color and if you look I know you can see it but look the the gimbal actually changes it keeps on level with the quad isn't that cool or you can manually change it from here See, using that lever, okay. Also, you can do straight recording. You don't need to press anything here to start recording. You can just flip the switch, it'll do recording. Um, arming is on this side. Just flip it and it'll just arm it. Um, and that's not only the cool part of it, actually the coolest part is, let's put this thing on the side. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Okay, now I'm logged in. Okay, run the application. Search for Bluetooth. See the Align MRS? You just select that. And give it a few seconds, it should connect now you see it's connected okay I can go to MR setting and see you can change the 
binding you can bind it from Futuba, Align, uh, IBUS, SBUS, Spectrum, the MSS, um, whatever you want and then you can click bind on it and on the next one you can change the alarm, the elevator, the throttle, the rudder, uh, channel, you can change the channel, flight modes, the gimbal angle, maybe prepare to be a little bit looking up. Um, yeah, plus the gain actually, these are the gains and more like a PID settings that you want to do if you want to make some changes on its uh, flight behavior. And on the third one is the video setting. This is where you want to do 1080p recording, 720p, 3 megapixel picture, photos, 5 megapixel, and 720p at 60 frames per second, just like the Mobius. And uh, this is where the gimbal, you control the gimbal angle, and if you want to control it by the transmitter or you want it to do automatic uh, uh, auto leveling, you can do that on this screen. On the third screen is a low voltage warning. It tells you actually what to set if you want to do a warning once you're at 10.5 volts. Right now it's set to 10.5, so. And another one is the LED setting, which I think is pretty cool because right now I was set to, I don't know, purple or whatever color that thing is, but um, I can set it to change it like that lower the red increase the green and probably lower the blue they'll become like red oh i mean becomes like green so if i click confirm ta -da, it becomes all green if i want to change that again um, increase the blue oh yeah this is the blue brightness to the max. Increase the red and it becomes pink. Uh, and then click confirm. There you go. See that cool? So this is for the OSD settings and what it what, what do you want to see actually in the OSD screen? Uh, so you can select which one you want to see on the screen and which one you don't want. So uh, set up information and that's it motor testing on this page uh, and this is for the VTX um, uh, channels so if you want to do some changes you can do changes from the uh, from that button there so um, also what I want like to show you is because you can also change the tilt angle on each motor to make it like a forward tilting motor for faster forward movement so yeah that's it it's a pretty cool looking FPB racer it's a 250 size just released by Align and I am pretty happy with it all right Thanks for watching.